getting things ready to go. J.P. Eloff at the halfway line. And we'll get things underway in Ontario. 10-12 combo, both from Australia. And the first knock on, and that is from the former Canadian international Hugh Bites in Toronto. On the way, looking for help. Dan Moore gonna get a pass, and he scores the first try, and history made one minute into the contest. John Moonlight scored the first ever try in Major League Rugby for Toronto. Dan Moore, the captain, scores the first ever Arrows try at home. And playing the advantage on the knock-on, a mishandle from Nola Gold, and Toronto takes advantage just 80 seconds in already on the board. The gift from one Canadian to the other, and Hugh Biden hey can't find the handle. Really a really nice break really there by Spencer These Jones. Lines are very difficult to see. And a and good trailing support line by Moore. He doesn't have to do a whole lot. Catch and dive, and that's all he needs. I'm good for Does it well, and five-pointer for the Arrows. Blind side. In for help comes Sean Riley. Ball almost spilled, but now goes wide. Blew it. Out to number 14, Tim Maupin. And Maupin. Well, Scott Green going to have a little discussion. And because this is a Canadian football field that's been stretched a little bit, Kit, a little bit of confusion about where the touchline is, and it's where the yellow lines are. So Maupin actually had some space. We'll see if he dotted it down. Now take another look here at the replay. Maupin, is he able to get it down? No. Well defended by Toronto, able to dislodge it. You see that back line so talented for Nola Gold. Dion, we've got a high tackle. That stopped the try. That's stopped the try. It's going to be a yellow card. I can tell. But as you heard Scott Green say, a high tackle that stopped the try and a yellow card coming out to Toronto. And a penalty try. So it's an automatic seven pointer. So Eric Howard. Back out, back out. Going to throw another back one out, thank you. and hit the target there. That is Kane Thompson once again. Wrap around, younger, out wide. And a good little run there and step inside by J.P. Eloff. He's going to dot another one down. Easy try for Nola Gold. Where's the defense when Toronto needs it? And that's the ball kicked way downfield. Nola trying to win the territorial game. And oh, an intercept try. Tristan Blewett shows why he is the league's leading scorer. He'll get his seven. Morgan Mitchell goes for a run. Now it's Shepard. Good go forward ball here, still going forward. About a meter away. Ferguson digs it out, goes wide. Sam Malcolm over the top, and it goes into the hands of number 15, Mieres. And Gaston Mieres puts one down for Toronto. A huge try for the Arrows. Huge try indeed. That almost intercepted just over the fingertips and in to the waiting arms of Gaston Mieres, the Uruguayan. Very happy to come up with his first try of the match. That's a big one for the fullback and for the Arrows. Take another look, ball over the top, and oh, Elof may have scraped his fingernail as it found Mieres. The results have been the same for about 20 phases. They've used the backs once. Cam Dolan looks for the ball, tries to roll for the line. Now lays it back. Over the line they go, and finally, in the hands of Ben Tarr, a try score for Nola Gold. And that's a big one. Great defending by Toronto. You mentioned upwards of 20 phases, Nola going through, and eventually Tarr. Ferguson trying to dig it out. There's Rumble. Help from Brower. He looks left, does Ferguson, and finds number 12, Giuseppe Detroit. Out to Malcolm. Big pass, great hands. Mieres stretches over, scores the try for Toronto. What about the hands of Avery Oidem in there? It'll be Mieres with the try. The Uruguayan International, rightfully so, his second in a row. And that is big here in the waning moments of this first half. And as you so correctly said, Avery Oideman, what a job. Take another look. Great ball, Oideman flattened, but still able to get the pass out to Mieres in time and reaches across 
down it goes. A prop for New Zealand. Goes to work once again. Ball at the back for Lucas Rummel. Going towards the line. Ferguson out to Moonlight. Moonlight runs over. Con Foley. Not the first time that John Moonlight has run over Con Foley. Usually it happens on a sevens field. And going forward, trying to get over the line. And the try scored. And that is the scrum half. Andrew Ferguson is going to put one down for the arrows. And that is massive for Toronto. The first points coming out of halftime really needed. And arrows up indeed. The home fans very happy with that. That's what they needed. They got, well, they got out in front early, but then Nolan was able to come back to take the lead. Ferguson just bullying his way forward and it would not be denied. You gotta love that. The, the strength, and he's pushing back. Goes forward to be happy to maul their way over the line from 20 meters out. And that's exactly what they're on their way to do. Jamie McKenzie. Now digging the ball out. Feeds number three, Morgan Mitchell tries to get over the line. Does he touch it down? Try, says Scott Green. What a job there. The big boys up front rumbling. And the try for Toronto puts them on top for the first time. Morgan Mitchell, the Kiwi who we mentioned in his home debut, the big 5'7", 250-pound tight head prop comes away with the try, a bulldozer right through a pair of Nola Gold men. Younger, Riley, no chance to stop him. In case you thought you didn't hear that correctly, 5'7", 250. That is right there on the goal line, ball set back. It is inches. Toronto driving back, Cam Dolan, ball snuck back. Great read by Toronto defense. What a job by the Arrows. Submarine style. Goes Cole Keith, and the try finally scored. What a win for Nate Osborne and his Nola Gold. And they pull it out like a rabbit out of their hat kit at the very last minute of the game. How did they do it?